Maitreyi Vishpala Agargi, Shachi Vagri Matis Tatha. All these are daughters who have worked from Vedic period and they did have rights in the property. The tradition was followed for a long time and Putra ka dhan paraye log kyo kar le sakte hai. So he admits that Putra, that is son and daughter, they are at equal status. We are talking about status. Without going further in details as to what happened, what was the journey of Koparsnari, I feel Koparsnari property and law of Koparsnari was for continuation of family and basically joint Hindu family. Now, family is the second important component of Hindu jurisprudence and Hindu life. The first we have already suffered, that is education and the alarming condition of breakage of family is on verge. This is the reason why I have chosen this topic to revisit our own philosophy and to find a solution for this alarming problem. There are many uh, verses in the same chapter 9 which also has the critically analyzed verse which says that freedom should not be given to women. But again like all the dignitaries have told us that Vedas are supreme and Vedas follow principle of equality. So Smritis are subjected to Vedas and so I leave this point here. So following all the equity principles and equality principles of Smritis in accordance with Vedas that we can definitely say that daughters have a right in the equal right and right has different perception. Property itself has a different perception. It includes your legacy, it includes your competency which you create through your family. So whatever you have got from your family, continuing that is also a right and I think Daughters would take this right and property in this very sense. There are certain problems. Right to property given to the daughter and without accepting this distinction in unmarried daughter and married daughter, this creates a problem for our family system. Daughters have two lives. First is when actually birth birth is there and second is by marriage. So my preposition is unmarried daughter definitely has a right till she is not married because she is part and parcel of Hindu joint family having the same status she continues with the same gotra which is the basis of this responsibility because law of co-personary is law of obligation. And the married daughters go to the other family. So it is their birth by marriage. And I personally feel like a daughter, even a daughter-in-law should get a right, but in her family property. So this distinction is required to be made. And for this very purpose that I feel revisiting our own laws, with our own perspectives is required. Problem kya hai? We are trying to get our Smriti law. But it is a commentary. It is a translation made. And we are trying to correlate with today's system. The basis of both are different. So taking a common point and for the best possible purpose and benefit of the daughters and families at large that I feel not only taking the legacy further the moment she gets married in other family her gotra changes her responsibility would change but she should get a right in that family which is unfortunately not thought till now but I'm sure considering the family family law joint family system and in in this 
line, if we consider this uh, law of co-parsonary, we will be able to save our families. Thank you.